the new Buxom palette. Six Reloadable Shadows, and this is a preset one. It is the Dolly's Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette. And it's super cool because whenever you finish it, when you finish the shades, this slides out so you can replace them. And you just, you just pop out, super easy, oh, like that. And the shadows are preloaded with primer. So they're super pigmented and they're extremely creamy and super easy to blend. This is one of my new favorite palettes. Oh, I left the little cover on it. <laughs> and they're just easy, everyday, like wearable palette, like colors. And so yeah, that is this look today using the Buxom palette. Hey guys, so to start off this tutorial, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation in the shade N125 on my Sephora Complexion Perfector from the Gold Brush Set. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light, and I'm going to conceal under my eyes, highlight my chin, my cupid's bow, around my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. And then I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty blender and blend all that out. same concealer I'm just gonna conceal any problem areas and then I'll blend that out using a beauty blender using the shades levitation and lyric from the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette I'm gonna go in with a small morphe brush and set my under eye area and anywhere else I use concealer this will prevent creasing throughout the day I'm going to set the rest of my face using the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium on a bigger Morphe brush. Using the Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Lingerie Lover on a fluffy brush from e.l.f. and I'm really going to concentrate this color in my crease. a small domed blending brush from Morphe, I'm going to go in with the shade Spoiled Sexy and I'm going to put that shade right over the other one to create more depth. Using a big fluffy brush, I'm going to go back in with the shade Lingerie Lover and just blend out those colors. Real Techniques base shadow brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Champagne Buzz and I'm going to pack that on the inner corner of my eyelids. Then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Mink Magnet and pack that on the outer portion of my eyelids. I'm just going back in with that small dome brush from Morphe and a little bit more of Spoiled Sexy to darken up that crease. And then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to blend that all out. Using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black and an angled brush from Morphe, I'm just going to line my eyes and do a simple winged eyeliner. on my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. I just follow my natural brow shape using light flicking motions to mimic hair.
flat side of the brush that came with the Buxom palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Silk Sheets and highlight my brow bone. I was pretty much too lazy to grab another brush. I'm going to define my under eye area using a pencil brush from Morphe in the shade Spoiled Sexy, and then I'm going to use a dome brush from Morphe in the shade Lingerie Lover to blend it out. I'm going to contour my face using the shade Subconscious from the Kat Von D palette and an angled brush from e.l.f. In order to get a chiseled look, you start at the top of your ear and then drag the shade toward your mouth but not going all the way toward your mouth. I'm just going to use a small fluffy brush to define my nose using the same shade. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Using this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm just going to bronze my face using that angled brush from e.l.f. I'm going to curl my eyelashes, then go in with the Maybelline's Pumped Up Colossal Mascara and whatever the blackest shade is. For blush, I'm going to use the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose on an angled Morphe brush. This is like one of my favorite drugstore blushes of all time. Seriously, like hands down. Using the Mary Luminizer and the Sephora Natural Flush Brush, I'm going to highlight my face. In order to really make this look pop, I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Silver to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to line my lips using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Nude. And over the top of the lip liner, I'm going to use the Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Naked. And that's it for this look. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video below. And every product that I use will be in the description box along with links to some of them, prices, stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you so much. And don't forget to share with other people and let me know what you think. Bye.